नमस्ते वेलकम टू ग्री टेरो सो हाव आर यू गाइज डूइंग आई होप यूर डूइंग गुड आई होप यूर हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे टू डे सो फिन यू हेयर फी लाइक माई कॉन्टेंट प्लीज सपोर्ट माई चैनल और इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सपोर्टेड मी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर ऑल द लव एंड द सपोर्ट गाइज मीन्स अ लॉट टू मी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच सो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स आई हैव माई इंस्टाग्राम पेज लिंक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉलो मे दे गो हैव एन गिव इट अ फॉलो एंड द टेक्स आई बी यूजिंग इन दिस रीडिंग विल ऑल्सो बी लिस्टेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके सो टूडे इज पिक कार्ड रीडिंग topic is what is unfolding in your destiny so that is the topic for today remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind guys and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you okay so i'll be doing charms and astro dice as well today okay so yeah we have three groups so connect with your intuition close your eyes relax let go of all the worries and choose a crystal or a card that calls to you intuitively okay so for group number 1 it's the rose quartz for group number 2 someone over here is feeling sleepy i feel like so yeah group number 2 we have bloodstone and for group number 3 it's green adventure so close your eyes relax take your time it's like 1 2 and 3 okay take your time pause the video if you need to the time stamps will be given in the description box let me start with group number 1 number 1 if you have chosen this rose quartz crystal let's see what is unfolding in your destiny and we have the magic word abra kadabra <laughs> so it's like uh it's like the magic is within you guys ask for ask for ask for the things that you desire the universe shall give it to you that's what i'm getting look she's so tall and she's near the stars she has a magic wand in her hand so it's like whatever she wants she is asking she is like saying abracadabra and she is receiving it right so that is it it is your destiny is to make your own dreams come true so whatever you desire don't feel like it's very big you cannot have it if you are feeling it if you want it that means you it's your it's yours like sometimes we feel like oh my god my desire is so big why i'm thinking like that maybe you are here to fulfill that desire and that's why you're feeling it so for you guys it's your destiny to make your own dreams come true okay and i even feel like if you are the one who is very positive if you're working towards it yes the dreams that you want in your life is manifesting okay the universe is with you they are guiding you they have seen your prayers they have seen your hard work and they have seen how positive you have been and they will grant you your wishes okay but the thing with uh, with manifestation is that what you think it comes with so this with this card i'm getting like if you are praying for something negative if you are doing the magic for the negativity like it's like sometimes we think a lot of negative things we we always think about negative things we overthink so if you are doing that if you are becoming negative you shall re that as well so it's important to focus on your thoughts what you are thinking uh like if you are overthinking thinking a lot of negative things change it to a positive thing i feel like like positivity bring more positivity in, into your life bring more positive vibes into your life that's very much important because right now i feel like in your uh, the phase you are in it's like you have the power to create the dream life you want because with this abracadabra card i'm getting here so ask for the things that you want focus on the things that you want and you shall get it right but you need to believe you need to have faith you need to have be patient that is all that is all that is all important guys because i have seen my manifestations as well it's like i i i think about one thing and it will take time but what do i think what do i manifest i have gotten it but it will take time you need to be patient sometimes it's our impatience that comes in our way okay so for some of you it can be your impatience what happens is sometimes we feel like oh my god it's taking so long and then we focus on the negativity right and what happens is when you focus on the negativity it takes more time things get delayed more okay so that's one thing you need to keep in mind here but definitely you can make your wishes come true that is your destiny here you can make your wishes come true all you need to understand in, is in the power of the universe is the power of you like yeah you have the power to create your dream life 
If you believe, you will create. What you believe, you will create. That's what it is with this card. Uh, I feel like you have the magic wand. You can create the good things you want to create in your life or you can create the bad things you want in your life. Okay. So that's what is I'm getting here. If you harbor uh, negativity, if you resent people, if you feel hatred, you will get that only. But if you are someone who is becoming more positive, focusing more on yourself, focusing more on confidence, self-confidence, uh, trying to better yourself every day, you will reap that positive things into your life. And yes, you will make your dreams come true as well. Okay. So let's see this uh, dies and then we will go to tarot. Okay. For some of you, uh, with this seven number, I'm getting maybe you want to study something abroad, or if 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 that is your plan, just keep on manifesting. Yes, that thing will happen. <laughs> That's a specific thing. Let's see what is else. What is unfolding for group number one in their destiny? What is their destiny? What is unfolding in their destiny? Oh, look at it. We have the Jupiter. Luck, like, yeah, good luck. Times are good, okay. We have Taurus energy here and uh, Gemini. Okay, so Gemini in second house. Like, sorry, Jupiter in Gemini in second house, right? Yeah. Yeah, good communication, I feel like. So if you're someone who wants to get into a good partnership or good uh, business partnership i see that is going to happen for you guys you will be very lucky in a partnership or some sort of good communication is going to come your way uh, like good financial communication like financially good things i'm getting like maybe you will get a collaboration uh, with the big company and that will change your finances that's something i'm seeing here like there is some sort of uh, goodness coming in communication area maybe for some of you a relationship where the, maybe you're manifesting a particular kind of relationship and this relationship is going to happen for you guys and this person will provide you with that stability with that security you need okay so that's there okay good communication you're going to get lucky uh, in communication area that's like a relationship it can be business it can be or maybe for some of you it can be speaking uh, in front of people Maybe people will be liking the way you talk. Okay, so that's something I'm seeing here. So there is definitely good luck with J Jupiter energy here. A lot of growth and expansion I see for you guys. But you need to believe in yourself. Be confident, guys. That's what is the message here is. So let's, if you believe in yourself, you can move mountains. You can create anything you want. And that's what. So I feel like if there will be challenges in your life, that is that is here to make you realize your own power that you hold within yourself and sometimes it will take a lot of courage and you will understand how powerful you are right so that's something so, so whenever you face a challenging situation when whenever you face an adversity don't don't harbor uh, like they don't take it negatively i feel like that that because um because it's just just for you to grow and expand in your life okay that's what it is yeah let's see what else but definitely i feel like business wise communication wise stability is going to be very awesome for you guys i feel like stable energy i'm getting here uh if you have some sort of misunderstanding i feel like that misunderstanding will also be resolved here and i feel like you are also clearing your own mis misunderstanding that you have about yourself that is something i'm getting maybe some sort of knowledge or information you will come through and you will understand that how how ignorant i was like i didn't have this knowledge uh, and because of it i thought that i'm not able to do the things that i want to do now i know, have this knowledge so yeah i know that knowledge is power and i can accomplish anything in my life like that kind of information you're getting where you feel like yes uh, you feel empowered because of that knowledge okay so that's something i'm seeing here yeah let's see what else look we have first energy is eight of cups yes you're moving away from your limited beliefs in a way as i told you the knowledge that you're getting is taking uh, so because of this knowledge you're letting go of the limited belief and you're like oh my god i didn't have this knowledge i was not so uh, like this thing was not in my life this knowledge was not there so i i thought that i'm limited i cannot achieve the things i want to achieve i cannot touch the stars like now i'm getting this knowledge and understand that i can i can accomplish anything so you are someone who is going to let go of certain limited beliefs about money about relationship about you that's what i'm getting here yes that is your destiny to let go of the things 
that is not good for you let go letting go of your negativity as well so maybe for some of you as i feel like as you progress in your life you will become more more of a positive person and your friend circle will be less i feel like that as well if you are someone who is very extroverted who has a lot of people you talk to a lot of people a lot of friends i feel like your circle is going to be less because you are understanding that uh, less is more in a way that's something i'm seeing here okay so you're going to move away from something it's it's your destiny to move away from something that is limiting you limiting your freedom you are here to be free and you are not going to be restricted you, you you know you are you are someone who cannot be restricted in any way because you are here to liberate yourself and liberate freedom like liberate others as well that's what i'm getting okay let's see what else one thing i'm hearing is like if someone teases you for something like if you have a skill and you're working towards it and someone comes like oh my god what are you doing this is not nice don't don't take that too seriously work on it you will get better at it practice and practice you will get better at at it so if someone says something and you stop it uh it's like you're giving up on yourself don't do that don't listen to uh, that okay just try and improve improve and you will improve okay whatever if you know there is nothing that cannot be uh, improved right like a child walking at the first try they will not walk right they, it takes a few tries so understand that let's see okay let's see what else is unfolding in your destiny okay oh we are you are moving away from a person who is like little bit flirty flirty type of energy i'm getting like maybe for some of you i feel like that uh yeah maybe yeah i even feel like you're going to move away from these kinds of people who are just like outside they will show that they love you but they are not so committed i feel like you're moving away from these kinds of people you're not uh, into time pass anymore maybe you feel like i have wasted time on this relationship now i'm only for uh, the people who are going to commit right so i feel like that is also there there a message here for some of you like you're not going to fall for the flowers anymore you're just going to see the personality of that person in a way uh yeah maybe in the past you used to see the outer and uh, uh like maybe you used to see the person how the person looks and you used to date now you're like no i cannot do that i i need to know the personality of that person like the outer look doesn't matter to me anymore so it's like you're getting out of your limited beliefs in like yeah maybe for some of you at that first you were like oh i'll look at this person if this is beautiful i'll date so maybe you were too much into outer beauty now you are like getting you're like now looking for the inner beauty that's something i'm seeing here or maybe you have learned it in a hard way that out of beauty sometimes is not enough right wow look at it stars again the stars look at the stars it's like whatever you wishing is going to come true and you are here to make your wishes come true that's one thing i'm getting here so for some of you it's like when you walk away from this kinds of people the people who are just wasting your time time pass maybe friends who who are wasting your time that is uh, yeah i feel like as i told you friend circle it's going to um be less 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 is more for you guys and that's why i feel like you will have time for your own passion goals you will understand who you are what you want you're going to understand other people uh, like how other people used to make you feel like you you're not good at it but like sometimes when there are a lot of opinions what happen is like we get confused what i'm good at maybe you're getting a lot of like you say something and people like like don't do that that's not uh, going to work out yeah so maybe because of it you have stopped yourself and finally you're moving away from these kinds of people who are just for fun like they just want to have fun that's it they are not committed they are, they don't uh, feel that much like they don't care that much for you like that's what i'm getting like there are friends yeah they just want their own advantage so for their own time pass they will spend time with you and then they will go right so i feel like that's what you're leaving behind and you're understanding that one friend is enough more than 100 like one friend is if there is a good one good friend that's enough i feel like maybe for some of you changing that kind of things and yes whatever you're praying for is going to come true and you are i feel like what you are going to realize is your own magic 
how you used to devalue yourself because of other people's opinion now you're becoming like you're letting go of that all things now you're understanding your own heart your own wisdom your own knowledge your in a way you are understanding your own magic your own soul and again universe you have a connection with universe that's what i feel like you're going to co-create with universe and make your dreams come true so many of you maybe you're already understanding about manifestations how law of attraction works how law of assumption works i feel like maybe for some of you you will um understand that very deeply and maybe for some of you i feel like you will be teaching that to other people as well that is something i'm getting here teaching about these things how to make your dreams come true because you will be making it but definitely whatever you're wishing for is coming true so be hopeful your future is awesome you're moving towards sunrise okay so that's what it is so yeah so let's see what else is the message let's see what is unfolding in your destiny group number one We have four of cups. Yeah, you're walking away from disappointments. I feel like it, with this four of cups, if you if you look at it in the brighter weight, it's like some universe is giving you something and you are not looking at it, right? And you uh, and that's the thing, uh, because we are not seeing the good we have, right? And you're walking away from that. You're understanding that life is awesome, life is good, life is meant to be happy, life is not meant to be boring. So sometimes what happens is. Uh, we look for the outer beauty in everything we don't see the inner because we feel like that is what is required so maybe for, for so that's why what we focus on is other people we focus how other people uh, want us to see like sometimes we focus too much on outer world that we forgot forget our own inner world and i feel like what you're going to do is to focus more on your inner world in a way that's what i'm getting that's where you're going okay you're going to focus on your own soul on your own heart because you have been listening to other people all the time so finally you are like making a decision to get rid of the people who are not doing you any good i feel like who are just uh, just using you in a way i feel like you're understanding it and uh, how you have been giving too much you know sometimes because of our, our childhood we give too much we we don't even understand that uh, other people are like taking advantage of us because uh, because sometimes because of our past we want that maybe for some of you, you want people to appreciate you to validate you because maybe you haven't been validated in the past validated in the past so that's why you feel like you need to be validated but finally you're understanding it's more important to validate yourself than get validation from others so what is the use if you are not even validating yourself like if you're not validating yourself how are other people going to validate you that is what you're realizing in a way okay so something like you're feeling like if you're feeling lack in an area um, you know sometimes we feel like oh my this my area is not working enough so you're understanding why that is happening and then you're realizing it's not it's not lacking in a way i think like it's lacking so you're changing your mindset that's what i'm getting here okay because you were looking too much onto the out so now it's like definitely what i see is like you're making a very strong connection with the universe you're going to create uh, you're going to co-create with the universe you are here to co-create with the universe uh yeah you're going to be very very powerful manifestors that is the thing you you are if you don't realize it yet you are going to be that is in your destiny let's see what else what is unfolding for my group number two sorry group number one why i said group number two maybe that there also maybe you have a message okay let's see what else oh. But definitely I have to say you can create whatever you want to create in your life. You are the magicians of your own life. That's, that's what is the strongest point here. <laughs> so let's see what else for group number one. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Clarity about some relationship. You will be getting clarity and that's why you will be able to move away from this person. I feel like that. Okay, maybe you give too much to this person and finally you're realizing that 
that this person is taking advantage of me because some sort of relationship clarity you will be getting and you will be or maybe friendship as well you will understand the truth of a person and how this person was trying to manipulate you in a way and you will get clarity and you will be able to move away from that uh, you know sometimes when we are in this negative space with negative people we become a little bit negative so maybe you also became negative with staying with this person so finally now you're moving away from this person you're becoming more positive more hopeful uh, understanding more about yourself your soul and, and that's what I feel like it's happening here for you guys let's see what else yeah balance temperance the rainbows the hard, hardest part is over I feel like for you guys yeah now it's like you you're realizing yourself you're finding balance Hmm? maybe as I told you you used to give a lot to other people or maybe you focused on the outer world a lot maybe you didn't focus on your inner world now what's happening is you're going to focus both on the outer world and the inner world so there is a balance here Archangel Michael is definitely there for you guys you're protected you're safe um, and he's telling you that whatever you wish you can create so wish for the stars and you can get the stars that's what I'm getting look at the stars Look at the stars. It's like I, I told you, a powerful manifestors. Uh, for some of you, if you want to be famous, I feel like that is also quite possible. That's in your destiny. But uh, but don't let other people tell you that you're not that you don't have that skill or talent. No. Just like if you want something, imagine it. Imagine, imagine, imagination is the key. Imagine it and uh, work towards it. You will have it. But find balance as well. There is a chance that you might, uh, like sometimes you get imbalanced. Like you focus on one thing more and then you forget the rest. Maybe you, if you're someone who is very hardworking, like you, uh, you, when you're hardworking, you forget to take breaks. Or when you're like procrastinating, you don't even work. So there should be a balance here, okay? So that's something I'm getting. Look, we have boundaries. Yeah, love yours, uh, yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. Yeah, that's what you're moving away from. There are, maybe there are friends who take take your time a lot, and that's why you cannot focus on the things that you want. Okay. Uh, maybe you're dealing with um, the like I feel like a lot of friends, a lot of friends who are taking away your time. So if you're a student, if you're uh, if you're a student, like you have this goal, uh, this goal to. Uh, sorry, I got distracted because of the message. So yeah, so if you are going back to, oh my God, what I said. Actually, what happened is like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like uh, yeah. I was talking about something I'm so I'm so sorry I just got distracted yeah so so with these boundaries like if you are someone who uh, who is working on a project on a project right and you are working with a lot of people what happens is uh, it's like you are going to do the like you are someone who will do the work of theirs as well uh, so it's like you need to be very clear with the boundary that I'm not going to do your work you got to do your work I will do only this work so it's like Maybe for some of you, it's like you're doing the homework of other people and it's putting too much on you. And because of it, your time is going. You are not able to focus on the things that you want in your life. So it's important that you keep, you have to keep your boundaries. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the one thing I am seeing here. And boundaries can be in any form. This is just an example, right? It can be in relationship. It can be in career. It can be in friendship. Anything. Okay. So that's that's what it is. You're here to do that. So don't be... Like sometimes we feel guilty. Oh my God. I said no to this person. Don't be guilty for that. Okay. So that's something. You need to love yourself that much. I feel like because sometimes in our past, parents tell us to say yes to everything even though we don't want it. But here you need to understand it's okay to say no sometimes. It's okay to say no in a kind and a compassionate manner. Right? So let's see. <laughs> let's see what else is unfolding in your destiny. And again, we have this rose quartz and love yourself. 
sometimes we need to love ourselves sometimes we need to make ourselves a priority sometimes we need to make ourselves the main character we don't have to be the side character all the time right so let's see what else is unfolding in your destiny wow grace and gratitude through gratitude joy expands so here be grateful for all the things that you have already achieved in your life and as you can see through gratitude joy expand when we are grateful for the things we see the good in things right when we are grateful when we are happy then we are we, we will be grateful for our own life like ah oh, i have this thing wow i have this so be happy for that thing right and when we are happy for this thing we will be like yeah i don't like anything sometimes uh, we look into other people's life and that's when we feel the lack but but when you like it's like when you when you list out the things that you're grateful for you'll know how how blessed you are right sometimes you need to do that right so that's that's the thing i feel like here and the more you give gratitude the more joy will come to your life so be grateful for all the things you have because i even feel like that you're going to be more grateful because you are going to see a lot of changes in your life because you i feel like you look again look, i have to say one more thing look it's like uh, it's like the magic is in your own hands look the hands you can create whatever you want to create with your hands maybe for some of you you do something with your hands or you make something with your hands it's going it's it's going to give you a lot of uh, success so yeah you, or maybe for some of your hands are very healing okay so yeah let's see it's like she's creating she's uh, like look at that like the uh there is lot of uh, healing energy in your hands your hands up uh, you can create things so yeah let's see what else for you guys what is unfolding in your destiny okay oh older woman and a priest okay maybe for some of you there is an ancestor uh who is working to uh, with you or maybe for some of you you will find a teacher a older woman who will uh, who will give you a lot of tricks uh and tips uh, on how to do certain things so yeah this is also your destiny maybe for some of you you will meet a teacher a new teacher that will give you a lot of information as i told you maybe for some of you you will get certain information and because of it uh, your life will be changed so maybe this is a person a older person or older woman who is very very wise might help you because we got this priest also so this person is very knowledgeable wise so listen to this person maybe it's your grandma maybe it's your mother but definitely you got to listen to them because they have a lot of knowledge that you don't have and this knowledge will help you in your life in some way okay so yeah that's what i'm getting here let's see what is the a final message then we will be doing the chant okay so the final message is for group number 1 what is unfolding in their destiny that's a lot just one card and thank you wow look magician sword again the magician you're the magicians of uh, magicians of your own life but you need to quiet your mind you need to believe in yourself don't listen to the chatter of the fear you know sometimes the fear will chatter and make us lose focus and then we focus on the fears rather than our our power right so it's important that you uh, whenever you are into this negativity whenever you overthinking come back to yourself deep quiet stillness meditation is required okay and with this magician sword a sword med if like it's like confidence is your key to success if you believe in yourself if you work for it you will have it as i told you you can create your own dream life and that's just a confirmation here with this magician sword and archangel michael definitely archangel michael is there is protecting you is helping you to cut the cords uh with the past okay with the people who are just taking um uh, advantage of you so you need to be uh, it, it, you know setting boundaries is really hard thing it's very easy to say like like uh, i know that you know it's very hard to set the boundaries when you're doing the same thing all the time helping people and then one day you're like saying no it's very hard but you need to do it you need to do it you need to look for yourself and you need to believe confidently say that no i cannot do it 
like don't be guilty for that don't be guilty for that don't make like sometimes people make us feel guilty oh my god you didn't help me right why you did that let them say it don't take that let's say the final message is for group number one okay yeah it's okay to take break okay for some of you you feel like oh my god i took a lot of break maybe your mothers and you're like oh my god i took a break i didn't uh, do this 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 don't be ashamed to take breaks as well you're here to rest and recharge book look information some sort of information is going to come and change a lot in your life maybe watching tarot videos might change a lot of things in your life right or yeah maybe you're new to tarot um this is specific maybe you're new to uh, this kind of things and like finally watching tarot videos will help you change a lot make a lot of changes in your life that's something i'm getting here look dragon dragonfly a lot of changes you're flying there's a lot of changes a lot of changes going to happen it's like you're understanding your own power you're understanding uh, your own magic that you that's that was dormant like finally you're realizing that how magic how how magical you are in a way that's what i'm getting here you're loving yourself again we have the be look be be spirit your hard work so whatever you are working towards it's going to happen you're here to you're here to make your dreams come true so the work you're doing it's going to reap the reward so be confident if you are someone who wants to build a community just be confident in yourself uh do, whatever you do do it with your heart open like do it with love and the love you give to your work you will receive it back okay with this be you are going to reap the sweet abundance right the rewards will come don't worry and for some of you travel opportunity maybe you're meant to travel you're meant to travel the do, uh, travel the world in a way with this eight of cups also there was energy maybe for some of you that is your dream to travel the world yes that's also happening yeah okay so that's all the message i received for you guys hope you like the reading if you liked it give me a thumbs up i will see you soon bye bye number two if you have chosen this bloodstone let's see what is the message for you guys what is unfolding in your destiny so we have the sleeping beauty's dream and the number three number three is all about celebration growth yeah so maybe for some of you you are imagining certain things you're ma you're like you're meditating like you're using meditation as a tool for imagining imagining like imagination what is that that is what i'm getting here maybe for some of you you have been reading the books of neval Ga neval goddard i'm getting like he he tells us like to imagine things right uh, to feel it I, and i feel like maybe you're doing that in your sleep time also maybe before going to sleep you just close your eyes and you imagine the things that you want so maybe you're uh, doing that kind of exercises if that is the thing yes there that's going to work out in your favor positive outcome for that so maybe for some of you you want a dream home and you're imagining how you want your dream home you're very specific with that yes that's going to happen for you guys okay that's one thing and the other thing is like maybe you are someone who has uh, like you can astral project like you can do this in your dream time you can manifest in a way lucid dreaming and all i'm getting here for you guys okay so your subconscious talks to you very clearly during your dreams so take note of that dream so what you're feeling how you are feeling in your dreams because that will be very helpful for you guys so if you're getting some sort of creative ideas in your dreams yes work on that if you're getting certain messages believe in that messages yeah that's that's what i'm getting like your subconscious speaks you through your dreams so trust your dreams have a dream journal guys for you guys i feel like that's very important because you will be receiving a lot of information during your dream time okay so yeah for you guys your dream time is very powerful very powerful you're manifesting during your dream like your uh, your uh, sleep time sleep time is very very important very creativity uh, like very creative time you're very creative at that time i feel like that maybe for some of you you're like doing this alpha alpha beat i'm like alpha alpha state you're getting into this alpha state and you're finding um answers for certain thing if that is the case yes you're going to receive the answers for some of you you're 
we want certain creativity like messages yes that is also going to happen you're very creative people i feel like that for some of you are finding creative solutions so if you're someone uh, who is trying to do this alpha getting into this alpha state and finding like solutions or like imagining whatever you're doing it's like going to work out in your favor there's something i feel like you're doing for some of you during your dream time or like before going to sleep like after waking up you do this yeah let's see but definitely keep on imagining imagination is the key and you're very strong people inner strength is immense you're going to move ahead in your soul journey uh so i i even feel like this pile is so intuitive so creative that you don't seek the logic <laughs> you are not how this will happen you're like yeah i want this this is going to happen like you are that kind of people and keep that because it's it's very good thing i feel like sometimes we are so caught on how things will happen that that we forget to imagine we don't have faith then so don't let that happen keep on doing this thing i feel like you need to keep on doing what you're doing because you're doing good you're doing good you're going good let's see what else for group number 2 from the dice what's unfolding in the dice. okay wow we have neptune look at the dreams again look pisces it's 12th house again dreams subconscious oh my god you're reprogramming your subconscious mind i feel like that one thing like you're getting rid of all that uh, limited beliefs that you had and you are putting new beliefs and if you're someone who is trying to do it yes it's working it's working don't worry i feel like that okay yeah i even feel like you communicate you communicate to people at, during your dream time so if you are if you are someone who has this kind of communication it's true that's happening in reality oh my god <laughs> this is oh god i'm like i'm amazed by the message okay so this is like of uh, like these kinds of messages i'm like getting for the first time so i'm a little bit amazed what you're doing guys so yeah maybe for some of you you are destined to meet people and communicate with people during your night time during your dream time right so yeah your dreams are very very powerful the, at your dream time you receive a lot of messages your the subconscious speaks to you very very clearly so when you're waking up at that time take your journal and write it down everything that you received because you will forget later do that okay so that is the message here very clear with this neptune <laughs> and pisces and you know it's 12th house pisces right and we have gemini it's like communication i'm getting here receiving communication from spirit during your dream time so it's like there is lot of lot of things are happening during your dream time your subconscious like yeah wow it's like you're getting rid of all the limited beliefs and now you are making new beliefs and accordingly like keep on imagining you're creating a new life for yourself let's see what else for group number 2 what is unfolding in your destiny let's see you're moving away from um, the people i i feel like for this pile it's like you're moving away from your past traumas and creating a life for yourself it's like a new beginning in a way i feel like reprogramming your subconscious mind that's what i'm getting yeah moving to a new new direction in your life let's see what else is unfolding in your destiny Wow, look, nine of pentacles. Yes, you're going to imagine, you're going to create the dream life you want. That's what you are going to do, guys. Wow. Temperance. But there is sometimes you have to have balance as well. Yeah, six of cups. It's related. I feel like you're letting go of your past. Yep. you're moving out of that thing the you know sometimes uh, we do the same things and our subconscious is programmed so we uh, we get uh we see that the same things happening in our reality so now what you are doing is like getting out of this past traumas past things now you're creating the new life that you want by imagining <laughs> yeah let's see what else two of swords you are you know now who because spirit communicates through your subconscious so maybe in the your dream time uh, you get your answers like you know who you can trust and who who you shouldn't trust in a way that is also something i'm getting you know who are the snakes 
uh, who gossip like that all information you're receiving during your dream time and so because of it you can make better decisions right so yes take notes take note right after waking up right for group number two you need to i feel like that if you're resonating definitely write down your dreams guys like if it, if you can uh, write it like the way you see it like full <laughs> like how you saw your dream write it down full whenever you remember it because there are messages for you guys And whenever you're confused, whenever you don't know what to do next, what you need to do is to before going to sleep, ask the ask for the question. You will receive the answer during your dream time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Let's see. We have wheel of fortune. Wow! Things are changing. Things are changing for you guys. You, the past is not going to repeat anymore because you are changing. Your your you are definitely this is what is happening for you guys right now you are reprogramming your subconscious mind putting new beliefs into your subconscious mind the old beliefs you're letting go of it you're healing i even feel like you're healing during your dream time you're releasing the people that you don't need anymore in your life you're releasing the statements given to you by other people like maybe it can be like when you were a child someone told you that you're not worthy you cannot do it and you're letting go of these kinds of beliefs that they gave you like yeah that's what i'm getting here and you're releasing now your life is going to turn around you're, you're going in a different direction. You're letting go of these things. Now, the past is not going to haunt you anymore. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, look, we have hermit. So it's like you're moving forward with your spiritual journey. The past has made you learn a lot of things. You have understood a lot of things. You're moving forward in your spiritual journey. You're growing as a person. Look, with this nine and nine, you have learned a lot of things. You are mastering something. I feel like, yeah, you're mastering your subconscious mind, I have to say. So if you're someone who is working on your subconscious mind, if you're reprogramming, if you're listening to meditation, if you're working on it, yes, you're going to master and you are going to make your subconscious mind your servant. It was your master. Now you're going to make it your servant. So whatever you want to manifest for you guys, your night time, dream time, like while sleeping, you can do it. You get all the answers during your sleep state. You heal during your sleep state. Oh God, that's the message here. So for some of you, definitely astral projection. You can go to different places during your dream time. It's all real. <laughs> you can lucid dream. It's a part of your destiny. Maybe for some of you, you used to do it at, uh, when you were a child, but you told your parents and they stopped doing it. So you stopped. Yeah, maybe they said something because of it. You got that fear and you stopped doing it. Now you're going to continue it. So there is some sort of continuation that you used to do in your past. Maybe because of other people, you stopped doing it. Now you're going to do it and you're going to grow in it. And you're going to, yeah, maybe, yeah, you're going to find your answers, deep secrets. That is also what I'm getting. And, um, and because of it, you're going to make better decisions in your life and things are changing. It's like a new life where you're feeling lucky. You're becoming lucky, right? <coughs> I just heard the worst part is over. The worst part is over, right? Uh, you have learned a lot of things. You have mastered a lot of things. Now it's like you're going to create what you're imagining. So yeah, let's see what else. Home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupation. Yeah, it's like maybe for some of you, you have always wanted a beautiful home. I told you about home. <laughs> so maybe for some of you, that's what you want and that's what that's happening. That's in your destiny. Okay, a home uh, with a with a person who understand you maybe you always wanted that kind of safe home but in the past you didn't have that thing but finally you're getting it you're going to feel safe with the person for some of you if you're single you're going to manifest a person who will make you feel safe feel protected right uh, so yeah maybe for some of you in the past you didn't have that beautiful home maybe your home was very chaotic maybe people used to argue a lot there was a lot of noise finally you're you are having a home where there will be silence where you will you can listen to your own heartbeat like you can listen to your own soul and the communication will be very polite 
you you like maybe for some of you it's like if you have been in narcissistic relationship and all uh, yeah you're getting rid of that you're moving away from this person like the past is not going to haunt you anymore yeah you're getting rid of that that's what it is let's see what else is unfolding in your destiny yeah a voyage of the heart love flows through you and to you it's like you're finding a lot of happiness inside of you in a way yeah you look we have joy and delight finally like it's like you have never seen this much happiness in your life that much happiness you're going to see in your life in your destiny in the in in your forward journey that's what i'm getting here you have seen lot of hatred you have seen lot of envy you have seen selfish people narcissistic people so because of it you also struggled in your life but finally you are taking control you are uh, taking control of your imagination maybe maybe you're someone who used to overthink and imagine the worst things that you don't want in your life and now you're understanding how powerful your imagination is and that's what you're working on like you're only imagining the things that you want so what you're imagining is a love love life a lo life full of love and that's what you're going to receive so the love you give you receive it so that's what i'm getting here so definitely a very beautiful relationship i see for you guys uh, you will be getting i feel like in your destiny you are going to let go of all the people who have taken it uh, like have made you feel uh, like you're not nothing maybe because of it you had to deal with a lot of self worth issues now you are programming programming that reprogramming that you're working on your self confidence working on your self worth like it's all, like spiritual journey is all about that only like finding ourselves back right because of other people sometimes we lose ourselves maybe you when we when when a child is born they are born with full potential because of the environment they think that they're not good enough they compare maybe you also felt there now you're understanding it was not me it was because of other people other people energies i became like that now i i i know this now i'm going to change it like that's what is the energy now so so as you progress in your journey you're becoming the most confident person um yeah that's what and the confident person who is full of love full of joy who sees um in adversity in adversity is also who who sees a positive point that is who you are becoming isn't it that amazing look at the starfish healing healing from the past healing from the past the past is not going i i'm repeating it again the past is not going to haunt you anymore because your subconscious mind is reprogramming it's like the software right you had this old software <laughs> that was on and on again now you have you are like now i'm going to put the codes and i'm just going to upgrade the software so the old codes have to have to go now this is the new new things like new this uh, software is li literally upgraded and that's what that's what it is uh so let's see what else for you guys is unfolding what is unfolding in your destiny group number 2 wow sweetheart for some of you as i told you you know i even feel like that you communicate if you are single you you i feel like you will communicate with your partner during your dream time you will yeah i feel like that because this reading is like that only you 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 are communicating uh with people during your dream time i have to say that and uh, for some of you yes if you're single if you haven't met this person you will meet them in your dreams first and then only i feel like you will meet them in reality in real life uh at for others it's like um it's like you're becoming your own sweetheart in a way <laughs> i have to say that loving yourself taking care of yourself uh, writing your wish list working on that writing your bucket bucket list imagining that right so loving yourself that is also something i'm seeing here you're not waiting for other people to love you you're loving yourself rather and when we love ourselves things change things change i've experienced it so for you guys also you're going to see massive changes in your life uh, because you're loving yourself you you will meet so much positive positive people i feel like that and i even feel like while you will be shopping you you are someone who is going to go to a shop and you will find your find whatever you want in like minutes and your shopping will be over by like 
in a half an hour like sometimes we go for shopping we we don't get anything we want right it's like uh, at that time our energy is low we are not uh, it's like because of your manifestation skills because you're loving yourself that's what i'm 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 feeling like you know and so you whatever you want it will be in front of you it's because you are not chasing you are attracting so whatever you want ah oh, i want this i i wanted that so yes let me buy it like that is the energy everything will be in front of you <laughs> yeah wow that's nice like your the wheel is turning in your favor now that's what i'm getting uh, but you have suffered a lot right in your life i feel like that in your maybe in your childhood also you have suffered a lot maybe you are someone who has started working from a very young age but finally and you have never experienced the luxuries of your life right of the life it was very hard working life and you had to deal with a lot of problematic individuals as well but finally things are changing for you guys that's the thing yeah let's see the final messages and then we will do the charms for you guys what is unfolding in your destiny group number two and yes i just received a message keep on doing the affirmations that you're doing because it's definitely working <laughs> ah that's the look i told you very creative people if you're someone who is uh, who is into music uh, uh, when you wake up maybe write down your dreams maybe in your dreams you will get the uh, lyrics of the music maybe if you're writers you will get that so yeah it's like uh, i have to say the dream time it's very important for you guys dream time so when you are very relaxed when you are when you're in the sleepy state that is when you're very you get that inspiration so take note of that inspiration work on that okay so yeah and yes you are here for um, it's you are here to follow your dreams look dream thief you have been running away from your dreams for so long the childhood dream you had because of other people don't run away anymore i feel like it's time to start doing what you want maybe your dream was to write a book maybe your dream was to play music maybe your dream was to dance do that do what you feel like okay so that's the message here and let's see the charms i just saw a person who is like uh, in a very uh, in a village they are having a very lovely home they are alone but they are so fulfilled and happy they are painting they are making music <laughs> like that kind of energy you are going very safe home i have to say very safe home let's see what else like look at the protection you're very protected very very protected ganesh lord ganesh is also with you um yeah hand elephants are also about good luck becoming the leader of your life maybe you used to follow other people now you're going to do what you want to do be like yeah the hard work is going to pay off keep on doing the things that you like love okay healing from the past with a seahorse don't take too much responsibilities guys only take the responsibilities you can handle then we have the pentacles definitely right the money you want will come yeah you will find ways to make money during your sleep time your sleep time so yeah be grounded as well because you know you you yeah it's important to ground your energy as well like going out in nature spending some time in nature um if you have a bird as a pet for some of you maybe you have a bird as a pet talk to that bird maybe you al already talk to that bird like that bird in a different forms can communicate with you maybe you can understand that bird that is also coming here like yeah this is really like love love yourself love your own magic love the person you are love the creativity like love your ideas and work on that some days it's okay to have a cup of coffee <laughs> and take a break right 
लाइक या वी वी हैव न्यू बिगनिंग्स डेफिनेटली दिस दिस इज अ न्यू बिगनिंग फॉर यू गाइज हीलिंग योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड मेकिंग योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड योर सर्व एंड फाइनली नाउ यू आर नॉट लिसनिंग टू दैट सबकॉन्शियस प्रोग्रामिंग दैट यू डिड एन नीड राइट यू आर लविंग योर सेल्फ फीलिंग गुड अबाउट योर सेल्फ ओके विद दिस फिश ऑल्सो इट्स लाइक वन थिंग आई हैव टू से इज लाइक डोंट गो फ्रॉम वन टास्क टू अनदर लाइक मे बी फॉर सम ऑफ यू इट्स लाइक आई डिड दिस थिंग नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू द ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट टेक टाइम आउट टेक ब्रेक दैट इज ऑल्सो नेसेसरी एंड येस लेटिंग गो ऑफ द पास कमिंग आउट ऑफ योर शेल डूइंग द अनकम्फर्टेबल थिंग्स दैट समटाइम्स यू नो डूइंग द इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट यू नो समटाइम्स गेटिंग आउट ऑफ अ कम्फर्ट जोन मीन्स डूइंग अनकम्फर्टेबल things right it's sometimes first when we do something it's uncomfortable but then it will become comfortable right so don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone as well we have uh, b we have b we have k we have s we have t and we have a so that's the letters i received for you guys so that's all the message for group number 2 hope you liked the reading hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't i will see you soon bye bye group number 3 if you have chosen this green adventure in crystal let's see what is unfolding in your destiny and we have the flower spirit wow okay with the 10 number it's like a child you're becoming um a child again it's like it's not becoming childish in a way how a child thinks you're becoming like that that's your destiny to enjoy life you know whatever happens around a child the child will enjoy life right they don't care they don't stress they don't uh, get into anxiety they don't overthink anything right so i feel like you're becoming that kind of person and you're destined to do that and i feel like you're finding that inner peace and harmony within yourself you're not too focused on the position that society tells us like if we are a manager then that's that's like sometimes we value ourselves based on status and i feel like you are here to let it go you are not worried about status you are here to just enjoy life you are here to have this playfulness enjoy life not stress about small small things not stress stress about the world it's like being very positive enjoying life finding the joy in small things right this is this is your destiny and helping other people you have a lot of wisdom that you can give to other people you are like that friend you're going to be that friend who other will other people will come and when they are with you they will feel so positive and they will be like yeah i should do that you're the i feel like you will give solutions to so many people it's like they will be asking how you how are you like this how you don't uh, get stressed it's because it's a it's a daily practice it's like self discipline is the key like yeah you're doing that you i feel like as you move pro, i feel like you are you're already doing like zen more i'm getting <laughs> like practicing zen not worrying being in the present moment and i feel like uh, i f- maybe for some of you have not mastered it yet but yes definitely you will master that thing it's like seeing um seeing things from a child like energy like not being stressful about things because have you seen children they don't stress about their things like they uh, my son i i he he doesn't stress if he has examination and all he just enjoys <laughs> so it's like that yeah it's like that you're enjoying life you're not uh, letting the adversities of challenges like yeah you're not going to let the adversities and challenges of the life make you feel unhappy no you're going to find happiness everything in every small small things and that's a very big thing to do it's not easy it's not easy it takes lot from us it's take a lot of trust because we have to have that trust right we have to trust the universe that much because we know I don't have to stress about this thing because they will take care of us. Spirit will take us care of us. God will take care of us. It's it's a lot of work that we have to do internally and that you're doing it. I feel like you're in the process of doing it. Yes, you are going to become someone who is going to enjoy life, who is going to seek happiness in every small things, who will be grateful for 
uh, all the small things they have in their life and that's why i feel like you are someone who will be very relaxed your face will be very relaxed very joyful very smiley that is who that is what is happening okay so let's see the dice and then let's see more what is unfolding for group number three I even heard nature is your best friend. So whenever you uh, feel a little bit confused because uh, sometimes things become confusing, sometimes things are challenging. <laughs> At that time, go out in nature, look, look outside, have a walk and then you will find your peace again. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we have Scorpio. We have Mercury in Scorpio in third house. Yeah. Hmm. Mercury. Third house. Okay, I feel like this is like your friendships are changing. I feel like you're going to meet new friends. Yeah, you're destined to meet the people who think like you. The people who is who are very positive, who don't, who are not that stressful, right? That's what I'm getting here. You're going to meet a lot of new people, a community you're going to build. Ah, that can also be the thing where you're building a community, where you're giving that positivity to other people and you're making very, very good connections. That's something I'm seeing here. Working with children is also something uh, that's quite possible for you guys. Maybe in your destiny, you will be working with your, with the kids, with kids. Yeah. Healing kids, healing, uh, yeah, healing kids who have a very rough, uh, like rough life in a way, giving them happiness, like your wives giving them uh, hope in a way. Yeah, that's something I'm seeing here for you guys. Working with kids, that's something I'm seeing here. Helping kids, yeah, that's that's it. Sometimes uh, to work with kids, we need to think like kids and you are like someone who will think like them, but at the same time, you're very wise and you know how to, um, how to, how to work with kids. You know that. That's what I'm getting here. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how to talk to them, how to speak to them, right? How to get their attention because it's very difficult to get attention of kids, right? It's very difficult to work with kids and you will be very good at it. Let's see what else for you guys. What is unfolding in your destiny? For group number three, what is unfolding in your dress? I heard feelings. Um, you can know your feelings are very strong, very empathetic nature I'm getting from you guys. Like you feel, if you feel something about someone, it's like true. Like you're getting the guidance from spirit. You're getting like maybe for some of you are psychic as well. Like, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like you can understand people, emotions, feelings, how they are feeling, right? What you need to say at a particular time that will make them feel good, right? Yeah. Let's see what's unfolding your destiny. Look, I was talking about uh, psychic and all. We got the queen of cups. The mother, mother energy is coming out, right? Who can like like a mother who understands their kid very well and they play with kid and when you're playing with kids you become the kid and you enjoy that it's not easy to play with kids right and you are someone who who, who will make it very easy you can control the kids very easily through kindness compassion you take out the you will you are someone who will take uh, you will bring the creativity out of the kids because we are in a world where Everyone is trying to chase for things like they are. It's like a sheep going right. They are a herd of sheep, uh, like doing the same things what others are doing. Uh, our our studies are also like that. Like sometimes there is people like kids are not allowed to imagine, and you're someone who is going to be that person who will allow kids to imagine to be their creative. Like it's like you will bring out the creativity in them in a way. That's, that's what I'm getting here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. Nice. And if you are someone who wants to become mother, that's quite possible. You will be amazing with mother. You will be an amazing mother. Gender doesn't matter. You can. You will be an amazing father. Like, if, even if I'm talking about Queen of Cups, it's like gender doesn't matter. Okay, guys? Yeah. 
let's see and of course if you're someone who wants to get into psychic field you you will be very good at it as well yeah helping people who have seen a lot i feel like that helping people helping kids whose childhood is rough like if they're dealing with a lot of issues you're going to help them you you know how they feel how bad they feel you can feel their emotions okay so that's something i'm getting so you also need to have a boundary you need to cleanse your um space as well but i feel like you are like a child so you know where to stop how to yeah you are going to get better at it if you are someone who is an empath and you take people energy and stress i feel like that is what is changing you are mastering that how not to take other people's energy how to have a boundary and help yeah that's also something i'm seeing here for you guys oh my god that's a lot wait a second i'll just take okay 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 so let me just shuffle again sorry Okay, let's see. Okay, these three cards came again, and I have to take it. We have nine of swords. Yeah, helping the people. You are someone who is going to help people to come out of this anxiety and all, and you are going to give them hope. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. That is your destiny. Look, two of cups and eight of wands. Wait a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle and let's see all these cards, and then we will talk. Wait a second. One thing for sure, you're going to help people, or depressed people. I'm getting help children who are having a very bad time, help anxious people. Maybe you will be someone who will be healing relationship as well. That is something I feel like you're destined to do. In a way, community. Yeah, maybe you have a community where you will be re resolving problems. Uh, to, uh, maybe you will be someone who will be giving advice, and that advice will be helping your community. You're transforming people's life. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. Because you have you're doing a lot of work on yourself, uh, and uh, yeah, you have learned a lot of lessons. I feel like that, and uh, these lessons you are going to, uh, the, yeah, through your experience, you will be helping other people. uh you are the someone who is going to uh, be the torch for a lot of people who is going to show them the way in their darkness right let's see okay we have nine of pentacles over here yes you are someone who is going to give them the self confidence as well for of yeah secure you are going to be providing a very secure space for the people who are very vulnerable hmm yeah seven of cups the people who are very anxious very confused who don't know them what to do you're going to be the torch to them yeah Le yeah yeah that's that's the thing that's the thing that is your destiny to help people that's what it is but at the same time by helping people uh you are going to make your dreams come true right uh, this uh, so don't be afraid to charge for money as well that's something i'm getting maybe you will be dealing with that because you're helping people uh, who who are in their dark time so you will be like oh my god i help them can i charge that yes yes don't drain yourself that is also important here don't as i told you boundaries keeping the boundaries should be very important for you guys that's one thing okay that's one thing here we have king of swords and let's see i even feel like you are here to have a very 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 awesome relationship and if you are single a awesome relationship is coming your way who is this person i feel like can be an air sign as well um yeah libra aquarius yeah libra aquarius and what was it <laughs> i forgot <laughs> I'm sorry. And Ace of Wands. Yeah. For some of you a new relationship is coming your way with this Ace of Wands, a very very fiery relationship. That's something I'm seeing here. Okay? Yeah. If you're single, definitely uh, expect someone who is very very high in a high position who understand things. Uh you are going to be very okay the candle 
I have to replace it. Wait a second. <laughs> oh God. Wait a second, guys. So and for some of you, in, uh, it's your destiny to meet a person who will be an air sign. For some of you, air sign or fire sign. So um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini or uh, fire sign. Leo, Sag. Yeah, Leo, Sag, Aries. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So for some of you, yes, you are going to meet someone who is going to be very, very, who will have a very stable life that's what i'm getting very very stable they are very stable they know what to do um yeah and it's like you know you're going to meet a person who will in a way you both will complete each other so the things that you don't have they will they will they will fulfill in some way and what you have you can you will be able to give them like maybe for some of you it's like you're an empath you're very sensitive but you're not good in uh, dealing with finances so this person will be very good with dealing with finances so what is happening is like whatever you will be do able to do you will be able to do it together in a way so maybe becoming the power couple like you have certain skills they have certain skills and both when come together create something awesome like that's 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 one thing okay maybe you're already married to this person as you progress maybe you will be doing something together that is also quite possible here maybe starting a business together like as i told they have certain set of skills you have certain set of skills together amazing things you're going to create so that's one thing i have to say others I, as i told you you will be helping this is not you guys this ten of swords nine of swords i'm not getting as a you <laughs> as you because i feel like you are someone who is going to help people in their confused state in their dark time you're going to bring the inspiration in people you're 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 someone who is going to um Teach them about self-love, how to take care of them, how to embrace the dark and the and and to find a light within uh, them. You like that's what because you have done that and you know you have faced a lot of challenges in your life and you're going to do that and help other people in their confused state, in their relationship, in their dark times. Uh, how to find peace within themselves maybe for some of you will be teaching about meditation yoga or maybe you will be someone who will be teaching how to strengthen your psychic abilities how to meditate how to uh, how to communicate with spirit so yeah that's that's what i'm getting here for you guys yeah i feel for group number three yeah yeah you have learned a lot of things you have mastered and maybe for some of you this will be your work and through this work you will be meeting a lot of people maybe you will be traveling you will be giving seminars there's a lot you can do you can do anything you want to but this thing i'm getting helping people because you can understand people emotions you know sometimes we need to experience things to understand for you guys you don't have to experience you can feel it because you're empaths so that's why you will be very you can understand their pain so you can understand yeah you, you will be able to help them that's what i'm getting here and for with this eight of wands and uh, uh, ace of wands, something exciting is going to soon happen for you guys. I feel like it's going to be a very surprising thing. So I'm not going to reveal the surprise. Something exciting is going to soon happen for my group number threes. And there's some sort of celebration happening. So some sort of news is definitely going to come out. <laughs> so let's see what else is unfolding for you guys. So that's the message for you guys. Let's see. Okay. blossoming look yeah you are just getting started so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up so with this as i told maybe for some of you only getting started on your journey you're understanding your own feelings how to manage them you're get, getting into this childlike energy now what will happen in the future this is a future thing for some of you you are doing, you are helping people maybe in a very small way, but I feel like this is going to grow and this is going to get big. You're going to help people, a lot of people, I feel like that. And if you're doing that already, maybe it's in a sm it's small right now. It's going to grow. It's going to blossom. Okay. Yeah. Look, back of the deck, I have to show you guys. Dana, high priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching yes for some of your spiritual teaching that's what you're going <laughs> you're helping people uh, spiritually like yeah um, helping them to face the dark and showing them the light as i told you are the torch you're the teacher let's see what else 
bringing people together. I feel like you will, you are going to form a form a community as well, where people will be together, like uh, people of different races will come together in a way. Yeah. Let's see. Your work will be seen by different people of different people, different races. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see what else is for group number three. Like yeah, solitude. As I told you, in silence, peace prevails. It's like you are someone who is going to be very, 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 very connected to the spirit. It's like the spirit is near your ears and they are giving you, they are giving you the guidance and you take action accordingly. It's like for some of your audience is, uh, is a spiritual gift that you have. Okay. So yeah, trust your intuition, trust, trust what spirit is telling, trust what you feel and go with it. That is all you need to do. Okay. And whenever you feel like uh, things are heavy, like because you're going to work with a lot of people. So sometimes there is a chance you might take other people's energy. If you are, if you're feeling heavy, take time to recharge. You will have to take time for recharge because you're working with energies. I feel for many of you. So take time, take breaks. If you want space, take that space. That's very important here. Okay. Take care of yourself. Where do I? You have a lot of tarot cards. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it here. Let's see what else for my group number three. <laughs> I told you becoming mothers for some of you. Look again, the child. Look at the child. As I told you, it, it's like confirming things, becoming a child again, uh, feeling like a child. For others, it's like becoming a good parent. Like you are going to be very awesome parents, right? That's what I'm getting here. That's, that's the confirmation. And if you want to conceive, if you want to become mothers, yes, it's in your destiny. Don't worry. Right. Like, yeah, closing door, completion of a cycle. It's like you have learned a lot of lessons. Finally, it's time to close the door. Now it's time for the next phase of your life. Things are changing for you guys. Things, As I told, some sort of exciting news, as a, news is coming for some of you. So you will be able to close the door and move on to a new one. Okay, maybe for some of you, you have been working with small, small, like small, small people, like small community. Now it's like your community is getting bigger maybe for some of you it was a small business now your business is branching out so something like that or maybe your work is uh, gaining more attention so yeah so one phase is over now it's a new phase where you're going getting more recognition in a way your work is going to gain more recognition people are uh, yeah maybe more people you're you're um, you're coming in contact with more people that's what i'm getting here okay in a way yeah so yeah, that's that thing. Meeting new people. Uh, yeah, for some of you, I, I even feel like you will be meeting a lot of curious people who are very curious to know all these things. So maybe for some of you, you will be meeting people who will not believe in these kinds of things. Like for some of you, you will be saying a lot of stuff. You are someone who is very spiritual, talking about universe and all. But maybe for some of you, you will have to deal with people who will not uh, believe in it. But I feel like uh, even if they, if, even if you meet people who are very hard to, uh, listen like maybe they will be like questioning you a lot maybe they will be like what are you saying this is not true this is not how it works uh, I feel like uh, even though they will they will say that and go go like maybe they will fight and go but they will come back to you that's that's something I'm seeing here they will understand later something um, uh, yeah for some of you yeah that's also there so yeah I, I just got that energy. So don't be worried if people are criticizing you and all because it's just that they, they are not in that vibration. So maybe they'll not understand. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Let's see what, what are the final messages from the charms. might be an important uh, time like number that you're seeing 10 10 yeah I don't know I just felt that again 10 10 it's like closing a chapter a new chapter is beginning for some of you moving places I feel like you might be moving to a new place new country hmm yeah yeah let's see what else like yeah 
don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone I, I even feel like this is like you are going to make people get out of their comfort zone you know it's like you might be someone oh, who is like talking to your friend and the words you say will affect that friend and they will make the changes in their life it's like that that is also something i'm seeing here you are going to change people's life in a way you are already doing it in a small way that's going to grow that's that's the message that's the message okay i have to say that yeah infinite possibilities for some of you some sort of achievement i see if you're working on something some sort of achievement maybe that is the good news that is coming your way some sort of achievement that will make you very 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 happy okay so yeah your um, infinity maybe for some of you have this infinity tattoo and it's like there is you are understanding there is no ending there is no beginning yeah <laughs> like you are understanding that there is no end to things there is no death uh, everything is infinite in a way you are understanding deep things deep things you are here to do that i feel like in the past life you have learned a lot of things that's why you were a hermit and in this life one more thing i have to say is like for you guys you are meant to have a very awesome relationship you're here to enjoy the materialistic things as well as being spiritual maybe in the past life you were very spiritual you uh, you were not into materialistic stuff so you walked away from that maybe you were not in a relationship you were, you, like that's what is the energy so in this lifetime you are here to enjoy that things as well you are here to enjoy the materialistic things as well as the wisdom that you have gained from the past life you are here to give it to other people you are here to help other people right that is also something i'm seeing so for many of you i even feel like the the spiritual stuff that is happening is going to happen like later not in your like maybe for some of you it's like you you were not into a spirituality from a young age maybe in your 20s or late 30s or late 20s you started doing that, that. okay uh, yeah that is also something maybe in your childhood you you were not aware of these things it's like after a certain age maybe you have uh, at, at a certain age you were in a dark space that is when you uh, re uh, know about these all things right so that's that's quite possible here okay yeah like in the scorpio energy working with people transforming people you transformed yourself you were able to transform yourself by your maybe for some of you this was self study you did you were able to transform yourself because you are masters in the past life that's why not everyone can do that by themselves as you have done so don't take yourself for granted look we have bees interestingly we came for group number 2 group number 1 so it's like hard work will pay off getting the sweet uh, sweet abundance again things are changing again completion of a cycle moving on to a new phase you have learned a lot of things it's like a new you maybe for some of you it's like you were working on your self confidence now you're feeling confident now you're ready to move forward that's that's the thing yeah you're right on track don't question or am i going right am i on the right track i'm doing good yes you don't have to question you're going right you're right on the direction and for some of you there is a change change of place dolphin you're very intelligent you're healers oh okay for this pile i why i'm getting i had done a video um in that uh, i talked about how uh, yeah maybe for some of you you have have seen that video where uh, i uh, it was dolphin which video was that i'm not so sure but i remember saying that uh, you undervalue yourself you doubt yourself uh, but you are such an amazing healer you heal people you, you your work is changing people life and you are not even realizing it so th that's that's also the message you're coming again yes you're you're here to change people's life you're here to transform people's life first you will start from home from your home you, you first you will change your life maybe you have already changed then you will change your spouse or your children or your parents life then you will move forward like it's like slow but you're doing enough okay so it can be a very slow journey it's it's not going to be a fast pace so don't be impatient okay yeah i feel like with this rabbit sometimes you get very impatient i feel like you are here to learn that lesson as well to become more patient so if you're like oh i have already become so patient yes you're going to become more patient patience like you're going to get that much patience right yeah you're going to master that skill love look love low hearts hearts doing what your heart feels like like a child child does what they feel like isn't it what their heart tells they do that they don't think about society they don't think about what others will say they do what they want to do right that's what i'm getting here 
having fun with this football so don't miss out on the fun have fun i feel like you are here to have fun for you guys i i seriously feel like you are here to have fun at the same time you are here to help people as well like it's like there should be a balance between fun and because your work is really serious work <laughs> but there needs to be fun in that work as well right in interest isn't it so there you should find the balance balance is the key for you guys so for you guys also don't fast too much it's like i have to say it's like you don't have to get too spiritual it's like you need to have the balance between spirituality and practicality that that is what your destiny is to so uh, yeah that is that is that is who you are that's what i'm getting here then we have uh, t w u and t maybe these are something specific or letters okay so that's all the message for group number 3 i hope you like my reading uh take care guys bye bye